Today we're going to be looking at the function of this device here, which is the autofocus. Now, we're looking for, I find this a very cumbersome system to use, and I'm looking to find a better way of autofocusing the machine. On this particular machine, because the head is adjustable up and down, the autofocus pen has got to be related to this nozzle in some way. So I'm going to drop the nozzle down onto this piece of 2mm material. I've loosened the pen off so that I can move it up and down. And on the keyboard just here we've got diagnostics. And here we've got all the switches and sensors that are available on the machine. And here in the middle we've got a Z plus and a Z minus sensor. Now the Z minus at the moment is black. But if I can make it, adjust it downwards to make it switch, there we go, the sensor has just switched. And then I'll lock the sensor up. Now the sensor should switch with a gap of two millimeters underneath there. So we'll drop the block down. I might have got to go up with six key presses or come down with about eight key presses to get to autofocus. We can press the enter button. As you can see, it doesn't touch the nozzle, but it now drops down by five millimeters. Now I'm looking for around about seven millimeter gap underneath there for my focus. And at the moment, I've got about nine. I can make an adjustment as to how far that drops down. And we've got to come up to File, Vendor Settings, and we get a vendor password required. R, D, and four eights. One, two, three, four, enter. And that gets me into this window here where I get the opportunity to mess around with X, Y, and Z axes. We're going to mess around with the Z axis and what we've got here is something called the home offset. Now the home offset is currently set to five millimeters and it's about a nine millimeter gap beneath the nozzle to the work. Now I need that to be seven millimeters so I've got to come in here and I've got to adjust that probably to um, what three millimeters. Now before I can do that adjustment I've got to read what's in the machine already what's in the machine already is five millimeters now I can change it to three and then I can write that back to the machine I've not changed the pen or anything so I should find that the autofocus works perfectly well and this time it'll only drop down three millimeters And that should give me a gap underneath there of seven millimeters. So that's the way that we go about setting up the autofocus at the moment. It's a bit of a tedious process. And every time you change a lens, you may well find that you've got to set a slightly different offset. You've got to go into the vendor settings to make a different offset.